Hello everyone. How are you all? I trust and hope you all are well. And I know you all are eagerly waiting for the reading for the message from Mother Goddess Saraswati. For this week's choose a card or pick a card activity from us at Unicorn Insight. My name is Ashwini Chube and I am your angelic healing teacher, your angel reader and your angel therapist. I bring to you this message for this week. Thank you for all of you already like and subscribe to my channel. But if you haven't, please do it now so that you do not miss out on any of our videos. This reading was done on the behalf of Vasan Panchami and this reading is effective for this week beginning today and it goes till the end of next week. However, if you happen to see this reading maybe a week later, a month later, a year later, even 10 years later and if it resonates with you, the message is for you. Energy goes beyond the dimensions, time and space and hence whenever you see the message, the message is for you. If you have still not selected your stack and if you are just watching this for the first time, stack number one is this beautiful crystal which you can see. Also the, the card picture on the card was of a red heart. Second card is this beautiful crystal. Oh, I love it so much. The picture on the message is the blue colored star. And finally the third stack is this crystal. And the, the photo, the picture on the card is a photo in flower. Please, if you haven't yet made, made a mind, please choose. If you are finding it difficult to choose, and if you say that, oh, I can I choose two cards? Can I choose two stacks? My answer will be no, you have to choose one. If you still find difficult, you can simply say, dear angels, archangels, masters, please silence my ego and please make sure that Whatever card I choose is gives me the message which I need to hear from the universe. And if you still cannot get an answer, make chips, pick one and see what resonates with you. I hope by now you have already picked the card or you have already picked the star rather. So this time we have taken messages. One is the channel message from Mother Goddess Saraswati. And of course there is the traditional tarot deck, the Rider weight tarot deck, which is the traditional tarot deck always used. And secondly, the flower therapy deck from Robert Reeves. All right. If you haven't yet chosen the card, make your final choice and here we give you the revelations for the cards. Are you ready? Let us begin with the first one. This crystal, if you chose this crystal, let's see what is the message for you. So the first card you got is, wow, the star card. Whenever the tarot star card comes into existence, it's a sign that your stars are changing. Aapki kismat badal rahi hai. Stars are now getting more favorable for you. So if you have had series of difficult times, know that the bad times are ending and something new, something big is coming to you. The stars are on your side. This card also is an indicator that you are now balancing your emotional and practical side very well so that you can follow your heart, you can choose from your heart and ask your head to take action in order to follow that. Wow, the second card in this stack is you are a spiritual teacher. Wow, isn't that amazing? You are a natural healer. You naturally have healing abilities within you. So... If you feel guided, you can share your wisdom with others. Sharing your wisdom could be in form of, say, sharing some knowledge with your friends. Or whatever you have learned, you can share it with your friends. Or with your family. Also, this card asks you to look at everything from a higher perspective. You are among the torch bearers of light. In 2012, many people on earth were initiated to be the torch bearers. There are high chances if you are watching this video, you are one of the torch bearers of higher consciousness. So take your step, follow your heart, follow your dreams and make sure when you preach, you practice it, set an example 
by being you and by being that change in the world. Let us see what is the channel message for you from Mother Goddess. Wow. The message for you is take action now. Dreams come true only when you work. I so find all these three cards so congruent with each other. So your stars are changing. Things are getting better. You are being called to be the torch bearer of light. When you share your wisdom, you are born to teach and share your wisdom. And now that you know this, take action. If you've been wanting to enroll for a course to learn something, learn that now. Or if you feel you want to share your wisdom with more people, take action. Reach out to people. You could even use social media to reach out to people. And there will be so many people who would want to learn from you. Trust and believe that you have a greater picture in the world to serve. Wow. That was stack number one. Let us see what is stack number two. For all my beautiful people who chose this crystal. Isn't it beautiful? I fell in love with this crystal when I saw it. Oh my God. It's so, so beautiful. So, let us see what are your cards. Knight of Wands, I believe you have a very passionate and a very driven energy and you want to do a lot of things. You would like to really do a lot of things and take action and create so much and there are too many things you want to do right now. You cannot decide probably what it is that you need to do and you may be feeling overwhelmed because there are too many activities to do. I would say that use your creativity, maybe take a journal, pen, Write down all the things what you would like to. And then it takes step-by-step -step approach. But for now, go step-by-step. Step. Look at one thing at a time. Put all of those magical creative thoughts on paper. And I'm sure a lot is coming up for you. Use paper pen. Make lists. Make a list of things. Put your priorities. And then go for each and everything step-by-step. You know, many times we want to do too many things. I'm exactly like that. And when you want to do too many things, you don't understand what should be done first and what later. Also, you go into the guilt of thinking that, oh, how come I want to do too many things? If you're creative, my friend, you will want to do many things. You will want to cook that sumptuous dish in the kitchen. You may want to go and dance. You may want to paint. You may want to work and you may want to read. So make your priorities and see what resonates with you first. Go there. Your flower card is be positive. Your thoughts can shape, shape up your experience. So be sure to focus on the positive. So instead of judging yourself, criticizing yourself for having too many ideas, focus on all the good things which are coming to you. And once you focus on the positive, and once you make to-do lists, the moment you stop judging yourself, you'll be able to receive. And once that happens, you will be able to create a good structure then you can go step by step. Let's see what's the message from Goddess Saraswati. Wow, this is so cool. I mean, I'm always amazed by how cards fall in place. And please know that I don't see these cards. I just pull cards and I do the reading live with you guys. So the message for you is, okay, even if you face any difficulty in reading this, please listen to what I'm saying. Focus and discipline can create magic. Be committed, focused and inculcate self-discipline. Now this goes so well with what I said. Creating a self-disciplinary action plan. Making sure you go at things time at time. You know, you, you don't do everything at the same time. You do one thing at a time. You focus and you stay committed. And you keep exploring things one after the other. But first, focus, focus and only focus. That was a stack number two. And now we come to the final stack number three. Isn't this crystal beautiful? Oh, I love all my crystals. They are so beautiful and so magical. Let us see what stack three has for all of us. So, you want Ace of Cups. Now, this is a new emotional experience that's starting for you. Maybe you found a new support, a new friend, someone in your family who has been supporting you or a wise counsellor, a guide or a friend or if you are single, it could be a new relationship which is coming into picture or you might have just realized that you have started having feelings for someone. 
So honor that. It's 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 beautiful. Go for it. Your angels ask you to go for it. If you found a teacher, a guide, or a coach, know that you are on the right track. They are helping you go through your emotional experience. You are overwhelmed. You have too much of thoughts, and you are feeling that oh, is it right to have these thoughts? The answer, my friend, is it's absolutely good to have these thoughts. Do not judge yourself. Express your feelings and honor your. Again, you could use a paper pen or a journal to write these. Let's see what's the flower card. You got a beautiful pink rose, and the message for you is let your inner beauty shine. You are example of God's love. Everything about you is so perfect, so beautiful. So let your light shine, inspire others, and my friend, keep being you. Let's see the final card from the message from Saraswati Nata. The message for you is relax. It is all happening. Don't be desperate. Relax and let it fall in place. So you know, if you see this like a story, you have a new emotional experience coming up for you. You may have found a new love, a new friend. Or maybe you started connecting to a teacher or a therapist who is really able to understand you. Just be you. Keep being you, and just know that it's okay to explore this. Whether it is a relationship or whether it is a learning, it's safe to explore it further and relax. Don't overthink. It's all falling in place. Don't be desperate and let it all fall in place. So that was your stack number two, the stack number three. I'm sorry, and these were the messages from Mother Goddess Saraswati to all of you. I hope you all enjoyed the messages, and I hope you enjoyed this week's reading. Do comment. I received the blessings of Mother Saras Saraswati below to receive this reading, and please write and let us know how do you like this reading. we will come up with something new once again next week till then thank you and yes have a lovely day and do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye